the loop, man of God, pass, pass the loop, man of God, pass the loop, man of God, man the Bible, it is true, pass the loop. In this season that we are recognizing history, our history. I want you to understand that if you don't accept and appreciate your history, your future has no value. Because the worth of something determined is determined by what you paid for it. And, and, and saints of God, when you consider the price that you've paid to get to where you are today, you will become more strategic about the steps that you will take tomorrow. When God tells you that it is time for your next move, don't customize your yes. When God speaks to you and says to you very clearly, it is time for you to prepare for your next. Do not customize your yes. Because we have a tendency to give God a conditional yes. God, I'll do it if you do this. God, I'll do it if you give me this. God, I will do it if you let me have this. But, but, but in this season, the only question that you should ask God when he tells you that it's time for you to prepare for your next, the only question that you should ask him is, Father, will your presence be with me? I love you too much to lie to you this morning. I, 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 got, I got to tell you this, because when you tell God to go with you, I need you to understand something, saints of God. Hear me. God is not your co-pilot. When you ask God to go with you, you can't get upset because he seems to be going down a street that you don't like. When you ask God to go with you, I need you to understand that God does not ride shotgun. He does not ride and, and, and go the way that you feel that he should go. He's not going to always do things the way that you feel that they should be done. When God goes with you, he will not be your backseat driver. Why is it so important that, that, that we let God lead when God's presence is with us? Here it is. It's important because there are times, hear me saints of God, when God does not agree with what you think is best. Come here. I need you to lean into this word. I got to talk to my emotional movers first because we have people that are moved on emotion. People that move because they're mad, because they're sad, because they're frustrated, because they're angry, because they're afraid. You are emotional movers. And I want you to understand that for your move to be powerful, it must be strategic. Be very careful when you ask God to order your steps. Because when God orders your steps, he may order you to walk away from some people. He may order you to walk away from some situations. When God orders your steps, he may order you to walk away from some things that you say that you love. When God orders your steps, the Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Moses had experience. Joshua had vision. If you are not careful, experience can destroy vision. God help me to preach it right. I know this is the way you've always done it. But what is God telling you to do in this season? Some of you, you won't move because experience is holding you in the place. But God is giving you vision for something different. What's going to impact your next move? Here it is, James. Is not the location, but the mindset. You can go to a different location, but if your mindset don't change, are you hearing what I'm saying? So God had to address, God had to address Moses' mindset before he even brought them out. He had to speak to Moses about his mindset. I know you thought standing before Pharaoh was good, but I'm getting ready to do something better. I know you thought that crossing the Red Sea on dry land was amazing. But I'm getting ready to do something more spectacular. I know you thought that bringing water from a rock was something good, but you ain't seen nothing yet. 
that's not the goal. And the reason I'm talking to you this morning is because there's some good things that have happened in your life, but that's not the goal. God said, I know that's good, but that ain't the goal. I have more that I want to do in your life. I want to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can think or imagine. I said, when you move, when God said, and you do it the way God said do it, that thing that you were going to that you thought you were going to have to work for you will discover that it is already done